Well, speaking of vocations, the Jesuit vocation has, we know, three vows. You have obedience, you have poverty, you have chastity. And it was always told to me that the hardest one to follow is obedience. It's not chastity and it's not poverty. Bueno, you see the way we eat, so I forget about poverty. Y si la castidad es como comemos, bueno. But obedience has always been told to me to be the hardest one, and especially the older you get, because we get set in our ways, we get comfortable with what we are and what we're doing, and then you're asked to change. And so uh, in the life of every Jesuit, one will have to exercise that vow many times throughout his entire life, and the time has come for me to exercise it once more. Uh, the uh, provincial is going to mission me beginning in January of 2024 to the Pontifical Gregorian University back in Rome. The uh, univer uh, Gregorian University has made a request uh, for me to come back as a professor of history and, uh, and uh, to be integrated into the community of the Gregorian uh, for the spring semester of 2024. And so, uh, fortunately, I cannot be in two places at the same time, especially in two sides of the ocean at the same time. And it is an exercise of obedience, it is an exercise of the will and also of submission, because in that vow of obedience, we believe that that mission that is entrusted to us is reflective of what God, God desires. And so, in as much as I obey, then I'm also obeying where the Lord sends me. And so let's take a look at that in that light of mission and something that, well, as a Jesuit institution, we also have to exercise in ourselves as we await and will welcome eventually a new director in the Agrupacion. One thing that will remain the same as it has beginning and, and will continue, I will continue to be close to the Agrupacion and all the Agrupados. Before I came here, and while I was still in Roman studies, I would help, and Father Nelson would invite me in the summers to say some of the masses, or by in the old uh, JP2 retreat house, and also assist in some of the retreats that were given before I had become an agrupal. And as, as an agrupal, I hope to continue to also help out in the times I'm back, uh, as any academic or any uh, anyone who works in an institution, an academic institution, well, we do get summer and winter off. And so uh, I'll be hopefully coming back to Miami and I can assist in, in any way and continue to keep in touch. Before coming back, many agrupados would visit also and their families visited Rome. And I remember hosting uh, quite a few of you. And I hope to enjoy to continue to host uh, quite a few of you uh, as well in Rome in the years to come uh, at the same time. Uh, I, one thing that we could perhaps call in mind is from the Ideario. And remember where it says, Father Rey Castro mentions que un agrupado en cada primer puesto. The Gregorian University is the premier Catholic university in the entire world. From the Gregorian University, about half of the bishops of the world have graduated from there. A good number of the College of Cardinals comes from the Gregorian University, and in the past, even some posts have come from the Gregorian University. Saints have graduated from the Gregorian University, and now an agrupado is being called to work and teach at that same institution. Es uno de los primeros puestos en la iglesia. And so as agrupados, let us also rejoice in that, that we have also been called to serve in one of those places and to be amongst those, los que tienen ese primer puesto en la iglesia. Uh, I'm not the only one. We have here, even amongst us, some that their family and Jesuits and their family have served in Rome as well. And Bob Chisholm's uncle was in Rome for many years, known as well. And uh, Joe Rasco is not here, but his uncle was a renowned professor also in Rome, uh, attached to the Gregorian University. And so um, we've been there before. And I hope to continue the tradition of being there and many is after us. And so even though this doesn't take place until January of 2024, um, still it was uh, worthy to mention it already to, uh, to Agrupados. 
uh, and we'll be using the rest of this year as ample enough time to find a good uh, successor uh, for a director at the Aku. And so this is something that was just decided between January and now, and February really. And, um, and so pretty much everything else that, uh, uh, that accompanies it as far as who will be next and all that, that that's forthcoming, that's still, to be, uh, that's still to be decided. But I ask for your prayers, in, uh, especially in undertaking this mission as we get closer to December. And also, well, thank you for having given me also the privilege of serving in the Agrupacion as director. And again, we'll continue to be in touch. Let's, uh, let's hold it, hold it for a couple of minutes. It's just going to take two minutes. Six or seven uh, years ago, we were uh, having mass in the chapel in Belen, and I took a picture in the middle of mass, and after mass, after mass, I shared the picture with a couple of you guys, I don't know, with you, Ray, and, I, and the comment on the bottom said, past, present, and future. <laughs> and um, Father Garcia Tuñón was the one celebrating mass, Father Arias was there, and visiting Father Christian was there as well. I don't know why I, it came to mind, and, 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 and I shared it with the guys. And uh, now we're you know, in the same position again of, of changes. Uh, when Father Christian first told me, I was, you know, we have to be very happy, we have to congratulate him, because his talents are being called to the biggest university, the biggest Catholic university, and it's, I mean, he is going to be an agrupado in, 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 primer, in primer puesto. So, um, as a friend, the, the, the her is a friend, the friendship of not being able to see him uh, on a weekly basis and, and, and sharing uh, ex experiences here in Miami, but we do, uh, we are going to have him in, in, in Rome. And I don't know about you guys, but maybe an ejercicio in Rome might not be so bad. <laughs> okay, so... Um, the, the other question, okay, so what's next? Uh, just that you guys know, I have been in contact with the provincial um, several times, um, and uh, I'm, we're having the first face-to-face uh, -face conversation this week. So uh, the baby steps, we're, we're not waiting. We're, we're, you know, we're, we're running with this, we're, we're working on it, so, um, you know, we, we need help with prayers, just like uh, Father Christian, you know, prayers for him in Rome, in his new mission. We need to, we ask for the intercession of Father Llorente, or Father Rey de Castro, everybody, for the, the director, for the new director, for the director to come. So uh, I ask you to please, please keep the agrupación and, and, and the new director and the whole process of getting to a new director in your prayers. Questions? Father, before you leave, are you giving any retreat here? In yes, yes. Uh, I'm here all the way through January, and so the retreat schedule that we have already planned will will, will continue. So that doesn't change. I uh, prepared a presentation for next week, and I learned, read something that I didn't know. Jesus are broken into brothers, priests, and scholastics. Mm -hmm. what, what is that? Is that how you become a scholastic? No, 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 I, 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 fi I finished that a long time ago. So the first stage is novice, novicio, no? When you take vows, you become a scholar. If you're going to be a, uh, pr if you're going to go on the track for priesthood, you get the, you know, the title scholastic, a scholar, basically seminarian for us. Uh, for those who will not go to ordination, the brother does not have a vocation of priesthood. That, that you're a brother and you can stay a brother for the, the, the rest of your life. Uh, and then after being a scholastic, after being this, uh, doing the studies and the uh, third probation, what I just did in the, in the past summer, then uh, you, be, you move to what is called profeso, and you can be profeso de cuatro uh, o, o tres votos. The priest can be a scholastic or a professed, that, that, that doesn't matter. Uh, and so the, the rank, there is no rank of priest in the, in the, in the Jesuits. Um, but uh, but yeah the uh, so uh, 
there is no, uh, I, I'm waiting still for the final vows, but uh, as far as the scholastic is the one who does studies, and well, I've already done all my studies with a the doctorate, there's nothing more to go after that. <laughs> Father, you put this under obedience. Mm -hmm. The obedience of the Jesuits is to the Pope, mm -hmm. directly. Yes. Mm -hmm. So this is an extension of that. The uh, Gregorian is known as the Pope's University. The joke is that it's the Pope's University, but the Pope's money goes to the Lateran University on the way. <laughs> um, the, uh, the Gregorian was founded in the 1500s by Pope Gregory the Thirteenth, and given to the Society of Jesus uh, as a mission. Uh, already since the time of St. Ignatius. Uh, that mission continues today. And so the, what we call the Roman houses, Rome itself, it's kind of like Miami. It's not part of the Italian province. It's part of its own province. It is its own uh, region. There is what we call the delegation of Roman houses, which are all the Roman works, all the associated works. The Latin American College for the seminarians uh, from Latin America is one of our Roman houses. We also have the German, the Germanic College, that's one of our houses, and the Gregorian University, the Colegio Internacional del Jesu, that's another of our colleges. Of course, the Curia and all the, the, uh, the ministries associated with governing the society are part of what we call the Roman delegation. The university's part is the largest component of the Roman delegation, and because it is a foundation of the Pope, it is directly resp uh, responds to the Pope. And so the Pope has delegated that responsibility to the general, and the general acts in the name of the Pope for this. And so when the request for a faculty comes in, it's technically from the Pope. Uh, and it's an exercise of the fourth vow that I haven't taken yet. So they're actually making me exercise it before I, before I take it. <laughs> What's the language of the college? What would, what language you use? Italian. So uh, every, everything's done in Italian. There's some uh, electives that are done in English, but uh, rather few. One thing I would like to introduce in there is electives in Spanish, because uh, I'd say one third of the student body is Spanish speaking. And so uh, I, one reason uh, that uh, was also asked uh, to join is that I, I'm fluent in Italian, fluent in Spanish, as you can tell, uh, English, and dabble a little bit in German and, and, uh, as well. And these are all the languages of all the students in there. And so it, it is a, a help to be versatile, to be able to go and uh, get a faculty member that doesn't need to do the Italian course uh, in there. Uh, I can start from day one already without, a, uh, without the, taking a language course. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How long are you going to be here? The assignment's for five years. Uh, five years, that could be uh, renewed. So every five years, it'll be, uh, it'll be uh, re-evaluated with the provincial. Uh, one thing that, that uh, has come out, I mean, this is something rather new for our times. Normally, the uh, assignments you know, were lifetime before, then it became every 10 years, 20 years. Now they're every five years. This is a reflection of the shortage of vocations. The fewer men that we have available to fill too many spots, then you're, you will be shuffled quite often. And you've seen some of the U.S. provinces, it's already the custom every six years, you move. Doesn't matter if you're doing a good job or a bad job, uh, you move. Our province has largely escaped that, uh, that system until now. Uh, our numbers are not what they were before. And if our experience has been, especially with Father Llorente, who had served so many years, that was the last of that generation that can do that. In the time of Father Llorente, we counted with twice as many Jesuits, uh, oh, nearly 40,000 Jesuits in the world. Right now, we are under 19,000. And so that that does catch reality does catch up with our with our times. Mm -hmm. So when they asked you to go to Rome, mm -hmm. did they give you a choice? Because I know you mentioned obedience. Yes. So mm -hmm. did they give you a choice, or was it kind of like you have to go? Normally, you do get your input. However, I read the letter from Rome, and they weren't really asking; they were telling. <laughs> <laughs> In a very, in very uh, direct way, but also uh, a very uh, generous way, they were saying we expect them to be here, <laughs> and so make make arrangements. In la misma universidad, dentro de la universidad. Father, this is a rhetorical question. Mm -hmm. Please don't answer. <laughs> uh, uh, um, I assume that as the province gives up one of its uh, important players mm -hmm. in your 
yourself and has contributed to the greater good, I assume that the greater good will in turn deliver something back to the province. Just a open comment on these for not sure if I'm getting a little bit ahead of myself here, but I mean, what, do you have any idea what expectation we can have? What, what I'm sorry? What, uh, do you have an idea what expectation we can have uh, as far as the next director for the Apple? Too early to say right now, we're working it out. Uh, we have the benefit of, of uh, basically nine months to, uh, to be able to help the, uh, the provincial find the right man. We need to pray. Can we hang the phone right now? When I'm gone. <laughs> 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 maybe, maybe. <laughs> we thank you for your service. Thank you. Thank you for sharing And like I said, I'm pretty sure I'll see some of you over there. I'm very sure I'll see some of you over there. This porch is right there, by the way. There you go. That's an old one. Father, I guess now we can put your picture on the wall. Well, like I said, wait till January. How about that? <laughs> All right, guys. So um, let's bring the tables and um, let's get ready for dinner then. Who do we serve down here, gentlemen? Oh, it's cool up. Sorry. Oh, sorry.